Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yoshi Lee back with another video and today we're gonna be doing some Quan offlane. And for those who are new to my channel, Quan is one of my favorite offlanes of all time and predecessor. Like he's just someone that I just vibe with the most. I always find him to be very flexible, being able to be solid in the one v ones, but also really strong in the team fights. He has range options, he just has it all. And so I think like He's not like the easiest character to play, I would say. He's a little bit more intermediate kind of level, so definitely not like maybe the most beginner friendly hero. But once you get more comfortable um, with the heroes in the offline especially, I highly recommend that you check out Kwan because my he's just amazing in my opinion. So I'm going to try to showcase some really solid Kwan gameplay. It's going to be against a Gwark. It's kind of like a matchup where it seems maybe a little bit worth at the Kwan for times, but like he actually can have ways to deal with the um, Gwarks, um decently well. So we'll see how this um, plays out right here for sure. Because the big thing that you excel in, in with the Kwan is you excel in being able to take the short trait very, very effectively well. And you want to just try playing into that whole lot um, right here. I try to use your arm B a whole lot, especially in the early levels, because if you can keep blending your arm B on top of that works, you can find yourself really chucking him down before you get to level 2 and 3. Okay, we're not going to be able to get the arm B right there, but we should be able to get um, level 2 anyways right here before him. Because right now, I'm just trying to get really aggressive on this work because I cannot allow him to fuck me down in this matchup. I really have to look, keep looking for armbies whenever I can like that. Alright, so we got the armby off be before um, he used our E on us. Because if you can use your armby to shield yourself, it, that's super super good. And be able to really make it a lot of damage if the work can throw at you. So already kind of getting shrugged, we have to be just a little careful, mainly for the fact that the Rampage could come and gank us. It's the big thing that I'm worried about more than anything. I kind of feel like right now in a decent spot against the Gwarks. It's just like when I did get ganked, that's when things can get a little scary for us. And usually when you do one, like you want a lot of times go Arkland Quest. And there's the win page, like I said, so just be careful of that fact. But like I said, like um, a lot of times Arkland Quest is what you want to go because Tempest is a really solid item on one. But in this matchup against um, Grux, I really like go way to that because um, Grux's damage is very high sustain. It's very predictable when he's doing all that damage on you. So usually I like to go way to that because as soon as he press ultimate, I pop my way to back. That's a lot of damage I made in the game while also doing a lot of damage in return as well. So before we back right here, I'm actually going to go pick up a teal buff just so I deny the buff, the teal buff and get, grab myself some bonus XP as well. I will return soon. Because um, the hard part of this lane is solo over in the sense that like um, once you get Brimstone online, that's when you can flesh with the Grux a lot more I say. Brimstone is just a really nuts item in general and really help us in the sustained training pounds because Grux wants to sustain training pounds whereas we want the burst. But if we get forced into a long trade, we have the Brimstone damage to really really help out right here. Nice, he even got his 2T2 combo just yet, so we actually have a pretty big item advantage in lane right now. Judgment. If he's gonna stand right there, I might as well throw a Q on B. Try to get some poke Q in there. And I think I might let this push in. Yeah, because Brux is just gonna try to like force it to go in, but that's fine. Because I can last hit most of this under lane fine. Oh nice, we stop his E, so we actually got a really good trade right there. We already have HP him right here, so I'm feeling very good right now actually. Like really, really good. I might actually just all in right here. I don't think there's anything he can really do. Because yeah, if he's already half HP, I can literally just want him down with my brimstone. 
Right there, it doesn't matter that his bleed can be quite deadly with his army fam. If we can just literally just kill him before, it, like, that really popped up too, too hard. So, like, this is a build that we are going to be very tanky. Like, usually Kwan is best built as a tank. And this is kind of, like, why. Like, he's very... Kwan is just a character that, like, the more, um, CC you can throw in team fights, the better. So, going, like, more magical power can be good. Makes your abilities hurt a bit more. But at the same time, though, your, your most value in team fights is your ability to knock up people and create so much pressure on the back. Like, not necessarily in your damage. Like, the damage department... Can be taken care of by your other allies like assassins or divers, right? Because even though we're going full tank, we still do a lot of damage. So it just there's just so many pros to um, go tank one that it's just like that's just how it's best built right now in the current meta. I'm gonna go for a war just so we can see when the win page comes over again. This time Brooks does have his ultimate, so we've gotta be a little bit careful of getting force in to these kind of trading. Because I'm very tempted to try to go aggressive on him, but as soon as I use my Q and E, he's gonna look for the all in, and I do not want to be stuck in there. Like I have to always save my E, but that also in turn means I can never use my on beat that well because uh, my on beat's best combo. Um, I, sorry, not my on beat, but my E, my E's best combo with my Q, and my on beat range is not like as needed to trade. Like the true damage on B is like really mainly used for like the tech matchup with the build of armor and you can ignore that with your um poke wing. I think they walk up to that. He does have a long cooldown on his Q and E, so as long as I can keep a track of where his cooldowns are at. I may actually bait this for my countless right here. Nice gank by the countless um, right there. She, she did a really good job saving her Q2 right when the Grux blink because Grux is just so immobile um, for the most part. So like all you really need to do is watch out for his blink and then give away the jump on that. Because like his E really doesn't cover much distance when trying to escape from people. I don't think I can kill the turn just yet, yes, so I'm gonna opt to actually just take my back as soon as I can after I take my two buff right here. Nice, so we're doing really, really good for ourselves. We get Fire Blossom, that's gonna be a really big power spike. The second item we're gonna go is we're gonna go actually Tainted Guards. Usually you want to like go Tainted um, Plus Matrix second because. It's just a really cool item on Quan being able to reduce, um, do more magical power, reduce the tenacity, just a really great item all around. But we're against a Rampage and work, both physical base and the both very healing base. Like, you want to reduce the healing, especially if you have the tank offlaner. So, I'll have to go to Tainted Guard second to counter both the works and Rampage. And then we can start to look at stuff like Tainted, um, not Tainted, but Time Flux. So, if we really want to. Yeah, I see the Grux kind of going ham on this, so I'm going to immediately push my wave because if I can get this wave push out fast enough, I can probably stop him from doing much. Oh, uh, rather like he's going to miss this wave. So actually, I might force his trade right here because he is going right here. Again, I'm making him just miss all that CS right there. Like he's not going to be able to go back to lane as long as I stand right here. Okay. He's gonna have to just kind of take all that trade force right there, and that just means that as soon as we just um, jump on him, he just may just die right here. Yep, he just died right there, very nice. And I know he didn't have blink, so we're able to really just um, get the kill right there. Is there someone on the white river? I don't see the Argus so far, because I really want to shove this in. Okay, now I see both of them right there. I'm a little bit too late to go help the Howitzer. I'm still going to opt to take down the team on tower right side. Because getting this tower down right now is actually really, really big for me. So now I can start to rotate the team fight much faster. And there's just a lot of like little bonus gold by taking down this turn for myself. I'm 
I'm going back. Nice. Two level lead. Tower takedown. Three kills. We are feasting right here, ladies and gents. We are absolutely feasting. And I didn't mention it um, for my longtime viewers, but this is my first actual showcase of my Quan Infinity skin. I think last time I did Quan a while back, I did like the Infinity skin, but that was on the test server Anytime. where you have all the skins unlocked. But this is my first actual Infinity skin that I legit unlocked. And I, for anyone that knows, I'm a long time Quan enjoyer and was really trying really hard to grind for the Infinity skin. I finally got it, so I think I'm making my viewers, viewers happy for the most part. And August is looking like he's gonna jump right here. Oh, one HP. Wow. I'm still gonna go look at him because I have my Q to try and get him. Never mind, my house has finally got the kill. I'd love to see it. Because, like, I have my wide lane all kind of in a gray spot, so I have time to go rotate to mid now if I really want to. And it pay off really well because now my. Mid laner is getting the help he needs scary. to kind of shut down the Argus mid. And we're now gonna really just have so much like more and more map control right now. Your skill rises. Okay, it looks like Rox is covering mid. So we're not gonna take down the power, but I am gonna get a free push right here for the most part. Oh, and how is still getting the kill on the rampage? That's huge. I'm gonna keep pushing right there because now. That Grouch had to decide if you want to go cover mid or cover right. Mm. Looks like he might come over to right. So that means that my um, mid lane tower should get destroyed soon, hopefully. Oh no, the Argus is way back. Never mind. I'm still gonna get a very nice push right here. Try to really kind of spread this tower a bit more so it's easy to take it down next time. Okay, he's often the all in on us, but all we have to do is. Okay, it looks like we're not going to be able to get out because we have the Argus right here as well. Because if Argus rotate right there, I'm hoping we can do more damage that turn right there. Because, like, um, that's just a prime time for my house to maybe destroy the tower if Argus rotate all the way right there. But it seems like it's just not going to really happen, unfortunately, because he actually has no mana to work with. So, maybe a little bit of my bad game too. Um, hard pushing right there. Didn't see the Argus um, rotate right there. But I'm still in a pretty decent spot. Like, um, it's just a more matter of fact, is like it was just hard to fight the Grux right there, push up like that. I think if I'm in a better spot, I think I can fight it. Especially once I get my Tainted God and my Razor back online, I think that's when it becomes really hard for the Grux to really do anything to burst me down. Okay, we're not gonna be able to really catch him right there. So let's just opt to push this out pretty fast. Maybe he's doing the laser back in the jungle, but I kinda doubt it. I think it's just wasted time to try to chase him too hard. We could just go for me if I'm honestly. Because like my I think if we're together, I think there's really nothing they can do right now. Although web page is on the side. So they attack main prime, I'll just try to follow the rampage run and see what he's trying to do. So like for example, I might just pressure him right here actually. Wait, does he know? He actually did, did know. Okay, I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna go on the Argus first because he's the one doing the most damage. Let's turn the rampage since he um, jumped away. Alright, looks like we're all gonna back off right now. As long as um, my countless with the prime is alive, we should be chilling. Yeah, she's alive, so we're chilling right now. Grabbing some supplies. I think I'm enough time to back in middle to get my tank and guard because I really want to make sure I get that item so I can fight the grux a lot better. So my third item, I'm actually trying to bait where I want to go. I really like the time warp third because I like that mana regen, but also more importantly, um, the high ability haste is just so, so good for Quan. And time warp I find would be the best ability haste item to accomplish that fact. So I think I'm going to go for time warp third. Maybe a little bit better to go like uh, Elephant third for more like physical armor. But I think for the most part, I want to do a little bit more damage. So I'm a bigger threat to some um, people, especially the squishies on the enemy team pump. So 
as long as the T1 mid is up, I want to try try to see if we can just kill him straight up. If he's on left, then I'm going to go push mid and try to see if we can take down this um, wave like you. Because my house is good to go left and I get to keep pushing mid to pressure the map on my side. This box is still pushing right and Kalanth could defend it. It looks like the Argus was actually just didn't rotate at all right there. Oh, attack Y was definitely going to go on this. Because no one can really back up the quirks. But Kyle is not, uh, not actually going to go for him. I feel like she should just buy him immediately because we can definitely just gap close him right now. I really wish the Countess kept following me right there because if she did, I think we could kill him. But she kind of um, hesitated a little bit and then followed me immediately. So, not the biggest deal. We still should get the tower anyway, which is what we want more so at the end of the day. Just trying to make sure we really take advantage of the mid time while we still can. Attack mid. Oh, Countess trying to go in for the greedy kill. I don't like that. Like, I think we should just back off. Like, this is just greedy. I'm, I'm gonna leave because if she dies when I'm telling the back off, then it's her fault, right? I really think that's just too greedy to keep pushing like that. Because, like I said, I want to just go and, like, look at mid for his temple. Dog is no blink, so we should just be able to fucking zoom down. Nice. Now let's try to see if we can save the keyword. Very nice. Making sure the keyword doesn't jump on my keyword, and now we should be able to push him mid really good. Okay, looks like they're gonna go fight the faint tooth. I'm gonna keep pushing mid, but this wave should be able to kill it by itself because it's very large, as you guys see. Yep, and Steve is obviously gonna defend that. That's fine. Because my team shouldn't need me on that faint tooth, anyways. I'll be right okay. back. I actually have no mana, so I'm actually going to back off. I might lose the tower if this book keeps pushing that. And yep, let's make sure it gets Razor back for the counter matchup right here. So I'm bringing the time warp. I'm actually going to pick up like um, the mana essence swing because that's going to be a huge boost to my mana already. So now I don't have to worry about mana. I can just kind of like bend my builds the whole time right now. You know what, I feel like he's actually like trying to steal camp and I want to punish him for it if he is. Nope, he's actually going to mid. Okay, we gotta go help de defend mid dude. Because if it's like three of them there, then we have to try to look. Oh damn, my ultimate then went off right there properly. That kind of sucks. So I'm getting kind of hard focused by the Gwerks first, so I'm not able to help my team right there, unfortunately. I'm gonna take the um, movement speed buff because I think if the Gwerks take that, he may catch up to me. But since now I have it, I can get in and out fast. Because we want to just really punish this um, Argus and Wimpage right now. Okay, he's getting execution right there, so we may not be able to actually um, kill him, but he still will go down. Right, I'm gonna attack mid because we should really take down this um, mid tower right here. And maybe I should go for um, uh, mid farm actually. That's two of them dead for 30 seconds. We have plenty of time to just go mini farm really fast if we really want to. Oh, we can keep pushing mid. Maybe let's look at mid for a little bit longer. I don't think anyone's actually paying attention to what's happening right now. Yeah, we might actually get this tower, which is going to be really big for us. Yeah, we'll be careful mid. Let's just retreat. We can definitely back off. 
we probably can't do the mini farm anymore, but we definitely done some serious, serious damage to that tower. I'm going back. I feel like the team, enemy team, is gonna try to play for mini farm, so we gotta make sure we ward that bad boy up right there. And let's actually go for time flex. Um, not time flex, but plus matrix. Yeah, the arc is starting to hurt me a little bit. I want to get the magical armor to deal with him. I'm gonna go help my Kalos first. Doing everything that I can to try to make them back off. Yeah, I think we still do like mini. Oh no, never mind. It's not not main prime anymore, it's now over prime because we take a little bit too long. Yep, this is not your jungle anymore. Because right now, like, their team is dead, I'm gonna try and steal some camp if I can. And if the one player decides he doesn't want to give up the two camp, I have my kill to back me up to kill him. So honestly, I just want to kind of follow this one player around to make his life a little miserable. See, Argus is trying to like look at following me potentially. Oh, nice done right there. We gotta get the blink out. That's huge. Getting that blink out is just really, really big because he won't be able to have that for the next thing to fight right there. I can unleash the heaven's fury. Okay, we see Kira now. Oh, this, this should be a dead August. I think he has Blink, so he might Blink. Except he's gonna die before he gets the chance, so. Yeah, nice. We killed the August, went page no Blink. This should be a very strong thing to for us right here. Up the tether, let's see if we can kind of poke him down a bit. Okay, I won't be able to like chase that too hard, but we definitely got them poked out right now. Because dual lanes looks like they're gonna really help out a whole lot. At least only the rampage. He has ultimate, but no bling. So I think this should be to a free faint for us. And yeah, rampage decided to go right, so let's get the faint tooth. So like, kind of like my house to die, but at the same time. At the jungle on this side, he didn't have a chance to really contest us on this thing too. Dang, we did that a little bit too late. So we're not going to be the gift um the steal. I was hoping the Arcus was going to jump in more than anything. Alright, let's just retreat now. I think we'd stay on our left side a little bit too much. Just try, we're just trying to be a huge, huge ha hassle um, to the enemy team right there more than anything. Because I should go back to farming for a bit. I was, I was trying to like farm the enemy side jungle, but so many fights keep happening that I didn't got a good chance to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to split pushing. Maybe I can get the inhibitor if... The Grux is not there, but we shall see. Are we fine again? Yeah, it looks like we are fine again, except House is gonna get caught out, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we just we don't take that fight then. Because that's like a a 4v5. I don't think we should force it. We just get ready to like um defense objectives if they're trying to do it, but I don't think they are. Hmm, looks like they gonna try and look at it. Oh, I got stuck in the wall. Okay, that's a red page trying to jump on me. Okay, right. He was here. We need to go focus the glove right here real quick. Double knocker. 
Can I play this low now? Oh, we got to play the pot so hard right here. I'm gonna take the walk from my Argus. Maybe he has more time to get out if he needs to. My house is coming in though. So I kind of want to still look because I think my house can clean up the back line if it gets a good engagement. Okay, my face is going on me. I'll still hang around because I still have my abilities I can use. Oh, he knocked away the wimp pace so I can't get the Q as I hope. Very nice stuff. Okay, I think now we have to get out. I don't think we can finish the August off. But we got the wimp pace of jungler so they can't do objective still. I will only rest a moment. Kinda had some intense fighting right there, and we only kinda lost that because the house got picked off, so it was a 12v5, but it's still did pretty dang good for my team right there. Wait for him to use his. Okay, he's not gonna use his Q, so we just knock him up. I was, I, I thought he's gonna like use his Q immediately, but he didn't because probably didn't even have it up. So we actually wait. Can we get him? Yeah, huge. I think we just do buy him now, hundred percent. I'm gonna just get this lane push out really quickly, so we have this um pushing in our favor, and now I'm gonna go my way. Very good stuff. I'm gonna actually go push right. Because the Crooks is dead, they have to send someone else over to like cover my split push. Because we have Primer coming off. If I can drag everyone on my right side, then my team has a so much easier time to go on Primal with a numbers advantage, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to tell my team, hey, do primal. Like, I'm really trying to drag everyone. I have two people over here. Brooks is still dead. I think they should just whip it right now. Because I have eyes on the Wemp page. And if Wemp page not the primal fight, then he this can't really do anything, so right? Ruined. Just do it. I have th I have three people now. This is the power split pushing. The kid was trying to, like, come up with the Argus. But I think in the 5v2 scenario, they just cannot win that at all. Yeah, like, it was so over, right? Because they're not... Able to go on that. I think I can f actually beat him, funny enough. I just want to make it seem like I'm scared of him, but next time he goes on me, I think I might take that fight. Although, maybe he's gonna have backup now, because yeah, I see the deal in there now. So yeah, I'll, t I'll play this low then, wait for like maybe the house to come over the wall. That's all the ultimates they use to get out. Ooh, I live just barely right there and we got the kill on the Glux. Should we get the kill on the Kiva? Yes, we do. And the Steel is almost already dead. We'd love to see the backup by the house. We'd love to see it, guys. Nice, nice. I'll still hang around because I need to, like... Take my time, make sure I don't get jump on. Like right here, the web page is gonna look at me slightly, and now it's looking at the web page. I yeah, I think the dude was trying to finish me off, but I don't think there's really anything you can do um, because you just completely riff it right there. And we're pretty tanky, so even though it looks like we we're low, that still support wouldn't be able to have the damage potential off. Nice, and this looks like to be the GG's right here, ladies and gents.
It's a very solid game. Especially, I was pretty happy we got the Grux matchup because, again, Open Beta has launched. I think the most common offline you guys are gonna see in your game is Grux. So, the more heroes I can showcase what you need to do against the Grux matchup, the better I think it's gonna really help you guys learn a lot on how to deal with what seems like a scary offline. It doesn't seem that scary if you know exactly how to deal with him. So, let's kinda take a little quick look at the stats right here. Actually, we actually did the most damage in the game. Full tank, by the way, on Kwon. And again, this is why, again, going full tank Kwon is the best way to kind of play him because you're just so tanky, it's so hard for people to kill you, you're throwing out all the CC abilities in those team fights, and you still can edge out and do the most damage in the game. Like, just crazy, crazy stuff right there. I'm actually kind of curious on the damage taken. Because sometimes it's a little bit hard to see how well you actually damage taken right here. Because you see right here, my Kalos was like, she's a squishy assassin, right? But she's had more damage taken than me. So it's kind of like, she's fighting a lot more than me probably. So like in those actual team fights, I can probably take a lot more. But with Kalos rotating a lot and fighting a bunch of people, she ended up tallying up more damage taken. And like, Brooks wasn't necessarily like super tanky, but we were attacking him a lot. He was dying a lot. So he naturally have a lot of damage taken. So it's always... I always find it a little bit hard to figure out like how tanky you are just from damage taking because like it's not as direct as like damage you've done to heroes for example. But anyway, there's some really solid Kwon gameplay right here uh, for you guys to enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me down in the comments about the heroes, about the village on me showcase. Thank you as always for the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.